Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson joins us now live where that shooting happened. Alyssa, what is the latest on the search for a suspect? Well, police are actively searching for that suspect. In fact, uh, SWAT members were just at a home in another area of town where they went in, did not find the perpetrator there. They're moving on to another location now. So that search is still going on hot and heavy for that suspect. The suspect actually took off from this location here at Reed and Pettit uh, from this bus stop station right here at the corner. And this is where that shooting happened this morning. When he took off, police canine units did track his scent, but they lost it about a block away. Here's what happened in the shooting this morning. Police say the female victim and the male suspect were both on a CityLink bus. Police say the man pulled the woman off the bus at this bus stop, took her a few feet away and shot her on the sidewalk. We don't know the relationship between the two people right now, but police do think that they know each other somehow. Now this all happened while many kids were heading to school this morning. Fort Wayne Community Schools did take extra precautions with Scott and Abbott elementaries nearby to make sure that all of the kids got to school safely, but the district says some students on their way to school, whether that be on a school bus or with their parents, did see the shooting happen. That is very troubling for us. Um, you know, there has been a lot of violence in the city, um, and I, I think that's an aspect that, uh, not that there's necessarily a, a lot of thought that goes into these um, actions anyways when people are committing them, but, but that's something that I don't think a lot of people realize is that kids are witnessing these events and that will have a profound impact on them. And we did learn that CityLink buses do have cameras on them that take both video and audio. CityLink is cooperating with police, and uh, we have reached out to them. They don't want to make a comment just yet, but uh, we will bring along any uh, comments from them when we learn that. Again, uh, police are looking for the suspect in this morning's shooting right now. We've also learned that the victim this morning may have been a student at Ravenscroft Beauty College. That school is closed early today. When we called the school, they told us they closed because one of their students was the victim in this morning's shooting. We are still talking with police and we'll have the very latest for you on any developments throughout the day on Wayne.com and of course tonight at 5 and 6. Live in Fort Wayne, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. Okay, so again, Knight was the man police think shot and killed Jacqueline Hardy at the bus stop today. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has been learning more details about exactly what happened earlier this morning and she continues our team coverage tonight. Alyssa? Well, this is the fifth shooting in Fort Wayne in less than a week, and people are rattled. This shooting even more concerning. School children saw it happen. We're very fortunate today that no one else was injured, but nonetheless, it is a fatal shooting. Just before 8 this morning, the CityLink bus stop on Reed and Pettit, a shooting in broad daylight. It makes people scared to walk out the front door. Police say a man pulled 49-year-old Jacqueline Hardy off the bus and shot her on the sidewalk just feet from the corner. That's where she died. A lot of people saw it happen. Several passengers on the CityLink bus. Many students were on their way to school when the shooting happened here this morning. In fact, just one block away at the intersection of Pettit and Holton is a school bus stop. As soon as we get to the corner, I see all these police running parked up and down the street. This man didn't want to give his name. He watched the crime scene unfold from a block away. And this body laying across the sidewalk with the white sheet covered it. He was walking his seven-year-old son to the school bus stop. And he got scared. Fort Wayne Community School says several children may have seen the shooting. Two were actually on the CityLink bus. That is very troubling for us. The district is working to get those children counseling. That's something that I don't think a lot of people realize is that kids are witnessing these events and that will have a profound impact on them. CityLink is also helping employees deal with witnessing such a horrific crime. We brought in EAP professionals, mental health folks to help them kind of sort through, you know, a pretty ugly event. Every CityLink bus has cameras that record video and audio. Those images from this morning now part of the police investigation. And despite what happened, the company says the bus is still safe to ride. I don't think you could have stopped that uh, when somebody decides to do something crazy like that. 
Indiana law says if you have a legal carry permit, it is legal to have a gun on a bus, and CityLink follows that state law. Mark. Alyssa, thank you. News. We are learning more tonight about what happened in the house on Holton Avenue where police found the suspect in yesterday's fatal shooting at a bus stop. Police shot and killed Kenneth Knight after a standoff. Today, News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson talks to people who were there when Knight showed up. They killed this man in my house. I got to live here. Loretta Masterson can't bring herself to go on her front porch yet. That's where police shot and killed Kenneth Knight after a more than four hour standoff. He was like my son. Knight and Loretta's daughter, Sherry Billingsley, had two children. They're both in their 20s now. And I kind of think he came here looking for my kids because when he saw them, he just grabbed them and hugged them and apologized. And it was like a goodbye type thing. When Knight showed up yesterday, Sherry was just learning that he was wanted for killing a woman a few hours earlier. I didn't want to say get out and then he, you know, turn on me. Sherry was 16 when she started dating Knight. Their relationship lasted about seven years. Sherry's son left the house. He got stopped by police. I ran outside because I wanted to let them know that's not him. But I didn't think when I went outside I wasn't going to be able to come back in. I went to the door and um, they told me to come out, you know, and I told him my grandson was in here. He kept saying, come out, come out, come out, come out, you know, and I seen all these guns pointing at me. I didn't know what to do, so I didn't even think, you know, I just ran out the door. Everything happened so fast. Loretta says they didn't mean to have three-year-old Preston stuck inside. He played with toy trucks while the hostage situation played out on the porch. He's okay now and doesn't really know what happened. But the shattered glass from the fatal shot, a reminder that the emotional wounds are still fresh for everyone else. I look over there at the door. There's, you know, bullet holes in my door and blood and stuff on the porch. And my daughter cleaned the blood off the door. I just, I feel bad for Jackie's family too. I do. Her brother was down there and I spoke with him briefly. And I asked my heart goes out to the both sides of the family, you know. I just kind of feel helpless. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson reporting tonight. The